Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here, uh, answering questions for you guys today. Today's question is getting in trouble in the major leagues. Um, this was a little bit of a tough one to answer because I didn't really get in trouble very much in my time in professional baseball in the major leagues. But there's one particular thing that the Padres used to always do every year when we were in big league camp. Um, if you got in trouble or did something wrong or messed up in a, in a game, usually a mental mistake in a game, a big mental mistake, or if it was something kind of off the field that wasn't super serious, um, there was a certain consequence that you would face. <clears throat> and so we're going to talk about that today. Um, so what happens is in spring training, um, if you mess up in some way, you have to, in front of the entire team, usually in the morning, so you come in the next morning, um, Buddy Black, our manager, would get up in front of, or usually he would, or one of the coaches would get up in front of everyone, and um, they'd start telling a story, and you wouldn't know where they were going or who they were talking about until they got far enough, and you were like, oh, no, that's me. And then they'd finish, and then they'd point out the player. They'd have to come to the, to the kind of the middle of the clubhouse, and they would have to eat a, basically we had like a stick, fill a stick with Vegemite, which if you've never tried it before, t technically I think it's Australian peanut butter or the, the equivalent of like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You put Vegemite on the sandwich, um, but it's disgusting. Like it's, it's so bad that when most players would put it in their mouth, they'd start to puke. So usually you get like the Vegemite and someone would toss you water because once you tried to eat it, you'd want to throw up and then you'd have to get water to get it down. It was disgusting. So I never got it my first few years of spring training. I only got it one time my whole career, actually. Um, and I vividly remember because we're playing a home game and I was on deck and there was a single. Well, there was a hard ground ball hit. Um, there was a man on second. It was a hard ground ball hit to the right side. And so the second baseman and first baseman kind of went over and the runners run in the third. And it looked like kind of like a, uh, not a routine ground ball, but a ball that was going to get fielded. So I'm on the on deck circle and I'm watching it and he goes, he goes to pick it up and it kind of hits off his glove and it bounces away a little bit. And so I'm watching him and then all of a sudden it kicks a little bit further than, than I thought. And I turn, and the runner from third is rounding third, and he's coming home. He's already, like, past third base by the time I really realize it. So I look back. I see him coming home. I look back, and now the guy's kind of going to pick up the ball to throw it. So I start running because as an on-deck hitter, you're supposed to tell the, the um, base runner whether to slide or stand up. So I start running, and as I'm kind of running over there, I can't get all the way there because it's too far of a run. But I'm just yelling, you know, I'm yelling, down, down, down. And so he slides in. The play's not really close at all. I don't even, you know, I think they threw it in, like, really late. So he's safe. So game ends. I don't think anything of it. No one says anything. Next day I get in the clubhouse. And, um, you know, we start off the morning meetings. And we're like, you know, coach is like, you know, we had a you know, game yesterday, great game, blah, blah, blah. He said, we have one instance where, um, you know, the on-deck batter decided to take a nap and didn't want to coach the uh, the base runner coming around third base. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, my God, what idiot did that? And uh, and so he calls out one of our players. I won't say who the player was. It was a veteran player who played in the big leagues for, like, almost 20 years, I think. He played forever. I don't think anyone will be able to guess who it is. You might be able to, actually, but... I'm not telling you the year, so, um, and so he stands up and he's kind of like, <clears throat> he goes through like the exactly what happens, basically like the guy that's calling me out, like I was watching him and he was standing there sleeping on deck, wasn't paying attention, and then all of a sudden looked over and go, oh, I'm supposed to be over there and didn't get over there and all that stuff. So now I'm thinking like, oh, I'm like, oh shit, that's me. He's talking about. It. I'm like, but that's not how it happened. Like, he made it sound like I never even moved anywhere. I just kind of sat there, and it was like a easy play. I should have been over there. So goes back to Buddy, and he like finishes it up, and he's like, Anto, why don't you come on up here, have some Vegemite? And I was like, I was like, hold. Oh. <laughs> so I'm walking up, and I was like, I wanted to argue it and be like, that wasn't close to what really happened. But I was just like, you know. The guys played a long time, and I was still really young. It was one of my first couple of big league games. It was my first big league camp. And so I just was like, 
whatever, I'm going to eat it. Um, and so I took it and it is disgusting. I mean, it tastes horrible. Um, I saw some guys like gagging up there, like over the years, like really gagging, like going over and like, I don't know if they threw up in the garbage can, but they were like spitting everything out. It wasn't that bad for me, but it wasn't good. Um, so I took it, whatever. And, um, and that was it. So that was the only time I ever had to take it. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't good. Um, but that's kind of like the fun way that we used to, uh, obviously not serious at all. Um, but if you did something stupid, like you had to get the Vegemite, it was kind of like a funny thing. Like guys would cheer and get up and start yelling and screaming and like throw guys up there. So it was like kind of like a fun team activity, harmless, excuse me. But um, that's really it. That's my, my story of getting in trouble in the major leagues. I mean, I wasn't there long enough to really get in trouble and I probably wasn't going to do anything stupid anyway. I don't think, you know, my time there, I never saw anyone really get in trouble, real trouble. Um, but for the minor things, that's how we did it. So let me know if uh, you guys have any more questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Check out our Instagram, Antonelli Baseball. Twitter feed, man, Antonelli 9. Posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.